Hello, hello. How are you all doing today? Good afternoon. My name is Chi Gozi and welcome to today's podcast. And I'll be talking on our foundations, different aspects of our foundation, how it affects us. From my last video, I talked about how the foundation where we come from could affect our life. And, and I said, it's not just our cultural foundation that can affect us, but our own personal foundation too can hinder us from accomplishing our goals. And today I'm breaking it down on how our foundations are affecting us because I see that a lot of people have been taking advantage of, you know, people keep taking money from them, telling them, you know, things going on with them is actually their foundation without rerouting them back to building themselves up, to becoming best version of themselves, you know, without telling them how to, you know, build themselves up. To become better so i'm here to break it down i hope this video helps you please do me a favor share with your friends loved ones and family i just want to make sure this video you know gets to the right population so today i'll be talking on how you can fix that broken foundation let's say spiritually you come from a very demonic or bad foundations that your forefathers they committed some atrocities that are affecting some of us today you have the power to pray fast and then break the yoke if you need to bring in a minister to come and do a family liberation it's fine but after the prayers and fasting what comes after is your own responsibility no longer the responsibility of your forefathers because the yoke has been broken and i'm gonna be quoting a bible scripture from Ezekiel 18 14 and all that or even from two down it says you know you know the regular saying that the forefathers you know they ate grapes and the children are testing the sour of the grape now the bible is telling us that it's not so anymore so if you are you know taking responsibility if you are if you keep blaming your forefathers of the wrong they did and you're not taking the right responsibility that is now on you that you have to step up to do what is right so making changes rebuilding your foundation it takes time it's a whole lot it's not something you do overnight it takes years and it takes commitment it takes dedication determination to do it. it's gonna sweat blood to build your foundation to what you want it to be let me let's uh, agree that some of us we may not come from an advantaged family where nobody say graduate and we think oh it's a it's a pattern that you know nobody graduates or nobody goes to school in this family you have the power you have the strength to make that changes you know if there's nothing wrong with going back to school you can achieve anything at any age i see a woman that graduated that did her doctorate degree at the age of 86 it's years, six years old. So nothing is impossible. So first of all, the first place or the first thing you need to do to build up your foundation is changing your mindset, how you think, telling yourself is possible. So when you have that conviction in you that you can change it, then you see it happen. You know, you can go to school at any age. You can be whatever you want to be you can study anything it all starts from the mind so when you correct your mind when you shift your mind and start seeing positive then you see how things will start to change in your life if nobody around you or your family you know ever went to school you can pick up somebody you can encourage your sibling relative you can even pay for someone's school fee to go to school just to break that jeans just to have somebody in that family. these are the ways we break foundational problem because one thing education does is it brings light to the family. People are better, right? But when nobody's educated or things like that, you know, there's kind of darkness around in that family. Don't get me wrong. People who do business too, they bring success to the family. But I'm just trying to tell you that every foundation, every family, they have different foundational problems. Let's say you have an alcoholic father. You never liked it. You will take that responsibility not to drink or not to be alcoholic 
because you know how shameful it is watching your dad, you know, fall inside gutter, get drunk and all that. You have the power to make the positive impact that I don't want to smoke, I don't want to drink because that foundation has brought shame to my family. Then another foundational thing we don't talk about is accountability. You see people, they will tell you, oh, we fail in businesses. It's a foundational problem. It's a generational cause. But one thing I tell people, it could be. It's possible. But once you prayed about it, pray over it, give it to God, you have a responsibility to change the narrative. How do you change it? Some of us, we do not do any checks and balances. We don't take stock. We don't uh, know what is coming in and what is going out. We don't attend financial seminar. We don't go for any conferences. You know, maybe today, $10 comes into your hand. Tomorrow, $5. Then you eat the $10 thinking you are making gain. No. So you have to be intentional about your business. What you sell to people, that you're selling the right products, that you are being friendly to the customers, that you know you're not trying to cheat the customers because if they find the same thing you're selling in another place that is way cheaper, they're not gonna come back. They go to the person to get it. So make sure you are selling a quality product, make sure you are attending financial classes, make sure you are doing checks and balances. These are the ways you know you help yourself, you help your business to grow. Put your business out there on the social media, create a website, have a business card. You know, be present. Some of us, yes, we have business, but we leave it at the mercies of the salesperson. You have to be there. That's your sweat. You don't have to just relax and then let the uh, salesperson take in charge. You have to know what's going on in your business. So you can't just, you know, be sleeping and then you're expecting somebody who doesn't even have the vision, somebody you employed to do the work for you.